Me, man, Kida, your T, your the Batizzo, aka the Duke Lang, you know what I'm saying, you know? It is an extraordinary story. Called Sudan's Lost Boys, they escaped war and genocide by running away into the jungle. The luckiest children survived to somehow find a new home in Canada's suburbia. You know, at that time, I was still a refugee, though, running around trying to get my ration card from local Chogil. Yeah. Nice hot dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't believe now, you're gone forever. Yeah, this letter is dedicated to Almighty Heavenly Father. Lord, I know that you've been watching me. It's the only thing he's got, a pen, a paper, and a mind full of memories spilling over with desperate questions that nobody could answer. Searching for some sort of consolation, he scribbles a letter, believing faith will respond. I used to kneel down when I was in Ethiopia, praying to God every day, please God, help me. What did I do that you destroy my village? You let this thing happen to my people. Thank God for the letter that I wrote in old three. A song evolves from his letter to God, a fitting tribute to his incredible story. It was back in 87 when the village was attacked. He was maybe only four years old when civil war erupts in his tiny village in Sudan. To survive, he's forced to flee. So I lay on the ground and my mama shouting, run for your life and never look back. The orphan boy is among thousands of others who scatter into the jungle. They call themselves the Lost Boys. And every night when the wild animal came, we have to run and climb the tree. Most of the time we used to sleep on top of the tree, hanging onto the branches of the tree. So that's how we survived. Most of the kids sometimes even fall up from the tree at night when we're sleeping while the wild animals are waiting. Human rights agencies learn about these children, bringing them to safety in refugee camps in Kenya. But after years of calling those lonely camps home, the United Nations gives them the chance to move to Canada, the U.S. and Australia. Mijok lands in the prairies to start a brand new life. The once lost boy, who's now been found, discovers his purpose. 